So this video is about using show control to control and synchronize PowerPoint presentations with your production. So we're going to assume that you're running a computer with show control on it and then you're going to have your PowerPoint program on a separate computer and that's going to be putting up your images or your text or your videos for you. And you need to synchronize the PowerPoint computer with your show control so that your lights and your sound and everything can be synchronized together. So the program you're going to want to get a hold of is called Bohm's MIDI Translator. But before we do that, in order to make this work, we're going to need to send MIDI signals from your show control computer to the laptop that has the PowerPoint program on it. So typically, I'm using a PC, so I will already have an audio interface connected to my show control uh, PC so I can get better audio out of it. Something similar to this. And if we take a look at the back side of this, you can see that I have audio outputs, but I also have MIDI outputs, and that's important to me. Because if I'm going to send synchronization messages from my show control computer to my PowerPoint computer, the easiest way to do that is using MIDI messages. And we'll be using Bohm's MIDI translator. So, what I'm going to be doing is sending out MIDI messages through this out port. My PowerPoint computer, all I simply need on there is just a MIDI input. Something similar to this, relatively inexpensive. Now, you just need to make sure, so the USB plugs in, so now you can get a cable connection from your show control computer over to your computer that's running your PowerPoint. So we're going from MIDI out here, but then you need to make sure that you select the MIDI in cable, whichever one it is here. So now it's going out from that interface, but it needs to go in to your computer. So make sure you select the correct uh, port here. You should be selecting the in port, which means that the MIDI signals are going to be coming in to the PowerPoint computer. Right? Usually these are fairly easy to set up and they're relatively inexpensive, somewhere around the neighborhood of about $35. So, um, And I kind of prefer the cable connection. You can do this wirelessly, but... Yeah, I kind of prefer the cable connection. It's not all that expensive and uh, you don't have to worry about a wireless connection. Then we actually have a physical connection. So we're going to be using Bohm's MIDI Translator. If you go to my website and I have that listed in the description down below, you can get that. You can uh, pick up the classic version here. It does not have to be the paid for version. And you'll notice that when it's starting up, there is a countdown. That's the only thing with the, the classic version here, the free version, that there is a countdown that happens every time you start it up. But uh, they allow you to use this as long as you're you know, not using it for uh, huge uh, uh, commercial endeavors. So wait for the countdown. Just click OK. Now, first thing it's going to say to me, I failed to have a MIDI connection. I say OK. Right now, I do not have an audio interface connected to this computer that I'm doing. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here and select MIDI in. I'm just going to select Loop B MIDI, which happens to be my in internal. In your case, if you're using the cable, which we just took a look at, you want to select that as your MIDI in. So now we have a way for MIDI to come in to the PowerPoint computer. And again, this Bohm program is going to be on the PowerPoint computer. Now we're going to uh, create a translator, which basically means this is going to be a way of receiving a MIDI message, but then translating that message to do something else. And in our case, we're going to translate it to be key presses so that we can operate our PowerPoint. So I'm going to click up here. They want to create a new preset. I'm going to call this PPT for PowerPoint. Now it's going to say Control. And that's what this translator is going to be called. Now I have to start adding translations to that. So I come over here and I click Plus. I want to add a translation. And I'm going to call this one Spacebar because we all know that most of the time if you're running a PowerPoint presentation you can just sit there and tap the space bar and it will go next slide, next slide, next slide, next slide. So we'll set that up for space bar. Now I can either click on the pencil here to edit this or I can simply double click it. Either way we'll open it up. Now we get into the kind of the nitty gritty here. So MIDI message, I'm going to select a MIDI message that I need to have this come in. Now if you're not familiar, familiar with MIDI, don't get too nervous about there. There is some help here, and I'm going to do show help. One of the things we can use as a MIDI signal coming in is what we call a program change. 
This is a MIDI message that would be sent to a MIDI keyboard or to a synthesizer module to change the voice from like piano to oboe to trumpet or whatever it is on that module. So I'm going to go to help here. I'm going to go to messages and controllers. And if you look here under program change, it gives us an example. C0PP. In the MIDI language here, the C means that we're going to be sending a program change message. The 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, determines what channel the MIDI message is going to be sent on. Now, MIDI is a little funky because it uses what we call hexadecimal language, and we'll show you that in a minute. But I'm going to simply put down here for my message C and 0 which means it's going to be a program change message. It's going to be on MIDI channel 1. And then I have to decide the PP is going to be my program change message. So in this case here, I'm going to just say I'm going to make it program change 5, which is going to be 0, 5. Actually, I'm going to put a space in there and then 0, 5. Now, if you look up here, it's going to say program change one, the number hashtag one, which means this is going to be sent on channel one, MIDI channel one, and it's going to be a program change five. If we take a look at MIDI messages here, and because MIDI uses hex decimal and you're trying to determine like what a certain number is, you can type in the number here and it'll give you the hex decimal code over here. Uh, as I mentioned, MIDI goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, for example, if I did decimal, I want to do uh, program change 9, 0, 9. If I type it in, it tells you all the hex decimal for that is 9. What if I wanted to do 11? It tells you that it's B. So I would type 0, B up here. What if I wanted to do program change 16? It tells you that that's 10. All right. A little confusing, but that's how the hexadecimal code goes. But anyway, you do have that help here. If you go under MIDI messages, you can say, well, I want to use program change uh, 23. What is? What do I type in here? You would type in 17. What if I want to use program change 26? Oh, that's 1A. So you see how the hexadecimal comes into place? So I would type in 1A up here. So you do have that helper um, decimal to hex decimal conversion here. But uh, let me so let's go back then. So we basically have MIDI channel one program change five. And again we have the messages and controllers here. Now that's our incoming message. The outgoing, I want this to be a keystroke. So I'm going to go keystroke emulation. Just click in here and hit the space bar and say apply. So now every time that this computer, if we've got this up and running, and it's it's running, it'll run in the background. Every time that we send this PowerPoint uh, control computer, the program change, MIDI program change 5 message, it will actually hit the space bar on the PowerPoint. So what I would do on the PowerPoint computer is I would start my slideshow, and I usually put a blank or black slide up as slide number 1 and then it's ready to go. So then I could send a show control message, a MIDI, cha a MIDI channel 1, program change 5, and it's like hitting the space bar. It will progress through your slides. Now, what I usually like to do, in case some things get goofed up in the show, I like to actually be able to call up certain slides. And if you know anything about PowerPoint, once you're up and doing the slide presentations, you can bring up any slide just by typing the number of that slide and hitting enter. So let's do that as another translator. I'm going to add another translator here. I'm going to say slide 2. We're going to call this translator slide 2. Um, let's take a look at it, edit it. So C0. So again, program change channel 1. And this time I'm going to do uh, program change 6. So I'm going to put 0, 6. So it tells me channel one program change six. My outgoing message is keystroke emulation is going to be two, enter, and then apply. So now, when I send a program change six to the PowerPoint computer, it's going to be as if I hit the number two and then enter. So it's going to go to slide two on the PowerPoint computer. I'm going to do slide 
uh, let's say slide five and let's edit this one so incoming in MIDI message is going to be C0 and let's say this is going to be program change number 11 okay I'm not sure about how to do program change 11 let me take a look down here and type in 11 and it's going to be tell me that that is B so I'm going to type in here 0 B and notice that it comes up channel 1 program change 11 apply so you see how the hex decimal works then the outgoing here this is going to be keystroke emulation it's going to be 5 enter so it's going to go to slide 5 so anytime I send program change 11 it's going to go to slide 5 in my PowerPoint presentation all right hopefully this makes sense for you that's a great way uh, to integrate everything together uh, I'm going to do some uh, videos on show control uh, to show you how to send out MIDI messages from show control to other computers uh, but this is basically how this would work you have this program on your PowerPoint computer and it'll run in the background as you're running your PowerPoint.